Hey friends, so welcome back to Design Your Workspace in Voxels tutorial and this is somewhat where we left off the last time. So we have our desk, our basic room, our windows, our laptop and some lights. So now let's add a little bit more fidelity to this design. And if this is your first encounter with Voxels this video, then I suggest you go watch the previous videos from the series because this is going to be more of a time lapse with just a little bit of commentary. Because in general, once you get the hang of how to make voxels, it's just going to be repeating the same steps over and over again. So let's start with the floor. I'm just going to move the floor object a little bit out of the way so it's easier to edit it. And then I'm going to click into it and zoom. And I'm going to create a wooden floor with some gaps between the planks. So for that, I'm just going to remove one layer from the floor and I'm going to paint the layer underneath into something darker. And then from the top view, simply using the box attached, draw your planks and make sure that there is a one voxel distance between them. That process is a little bit repetitive, so let's speed it up, shall we? And after you get the first two planks, you can just select everything and then copy and paste it and move to the side. Just make sure that everything looks right. And when it does, simply move the floor back and click render so you can see the final result. And I think it looks really cool. My walls are a little bit thicker than that and the windowsill is also a little bit larger. So I'm just gonna enlarge the wall by changing the object properties and then adding a couple of layers of wall. And because the wall is now thicker, we also need to move the baseboard so it's finally visible. The next step is to add some window frames and create the windowsill. So the window in my room is divided in three parts, so I'm just gonna create that. And when I click render, you can see that it's starting to look like a real window. Now I'm adding the windowsill by attaching lines in front of the window. Now there is a radiator just below my window, so I'm creating a new object and setting the dimensions to match the radiator. And to make it look right, I'm gonna move it into place before I start building. And it's gonna be a pretty simple shape with just a couple of extrusions. And this is another repetitive process, so let's speed it up. And when I have the first layer, I simply add another one that's one voxel smaller and in the middle of it. Now I can select everything and move it a little bit to the front so I can make the radiator thicker. And I'm gonna remove the section on the right here so I have a place to put my control knob. Yeah, and it's looking like a radiator. Now here's another repetitive process, so using the paint tool I'm just gonna paint those little lines on top of it so it looks like grating. Now I go to the world view and simply move it back into place. Now when I click render, as you can see the room is starting to look a lot more realistic. And using these same techniques you can just create every additional object like shelving, plants, external displays, keyboards, mice, anything that you can think of. That's why the final video in this series is gonna be a time lapse of me finishing the room with everything that's in it, including my chair. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and please share with me your creations. Cheers.